Hey, uh, I bought a master lock word combination lock and I've decoded master locks before on one of my other videos and I'm just going to see if I can do an out of the package opening with this. Okay, I didn't look at the combination. It won't be set to all zeros because there are no zeros in this. Okay, and I'm going to tension the shackle. It's locked. I'm going to tension the shackle and start turning. Um, that doesn't want to turn out. Of um, that sort of clicked. Maybe somewhere there. That maybe clicked here. Uh, this this was quite tight. Maybe it clicked here, but it's hard to turn. Okay. Okay. So that's under tension. There's not much play on this one. Lots of play on this one. In fact, there's so much. Not even sure if it really clicked in. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not happy with this first number because there's not much play. A little bit more there. Mm, not much there, but this is not much play at all. So I'm going to release tension, turn it a little bit, tension again, and see if I can get it to click in somewhere else. Sort of clicked in very loosely here, sort of suddenly became loose around about there. Um, next one sort of goes tight, 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 and then suddenly it goes loose a little bit around here as well. Um, don't know about that. I'm going to release tension, pick on the third one. Yep, sort of clicked here, but it's not much play. And it's sort of, yeah, let, let's move on and see what else we can find. Okay, clicked here, and there's lots of movement, so, and it doesn't want to come out of that gate with tension on the shackle. But there's lots to play. So I, I like this one. So this one's very tight. Less tension. Tension again. Let's see what else we can move it to. Okay, clicked. About here. A little movement on the shackle, but it's halfway between S and T. So I don't like that. Move on. Quite tight. Okay, it clicked here and a little bit more movement okay so i think by the way in one of my other master lock videos i showed how the gates there are four gates per whirl and so in this one i'm thinking it's the same sort of thing it would be y and the other side in and halfway in between would be between S and T and halfway between the other side as well. So I think only Y and N we have to test it on this lock, on this wheel. See how Y is this loose. If I release tension, go to N. Okay, so N is mm, a little bit loose. Let's have a look at Y again. Um... Actually, I don't know which is less or higher in. Uh, interesting. I'm going to leave it on Y for now and I'll come back to it. I think it might be Y. Okay, that's tight. Tight. I don't know what's happening there. Okay, let's go to this wheel. 
Um, here's a lot of play, even though it's tight. Um, so that would be A. If I go to the next one. Maybe it's S. S. Hmm. Hmm. Or R. G. This is a bit difficult to tell. Keep going. It's hard to turn these wheels. Okay. A. It seems to lurch into A. I'm going to keep it as A. And I'm going to test this one. Okay, so make sure these two don't move. Oops. Don't want the other wheels to move, really. Um, okay, so it clicked in between Y and R. So I'm thinking, hmm, the gates will be L. And the, yeah, the lock's open. Okay. Um, this wheel, um, as I was turning this wheel, seemed to want to lurch into P. It seemed to lurch into there and be a lot looser, a lot more play. And I, as I say, I knew when this was in between, it clicked between Y and R. That because these gates are distributed evenly two and a half positions on each wheel so if this is between Y and R then two and a half will be L so I was going to test L and the other side of L which was O but I didn't need to test O because the lock, do lock opened and the word is play anyway once you find a gate where it sort of lurches into it, you might feel it lurch into it and there's lots of loose play in that gate and it doesn't want to come out of that gate with shackle tension. You might even feel a slight movement in the shackle pulling out a little bit or a slight click. Once you're confident you've found a gate on a wheel, you can work out where the other three ones are and only two of them are proper because when I say proper I mean Two of them are halfway in between, so you discount those. It only leaves two gates you have to test to see which one is the loosest on each wheel. And you just do that for each wheel. And if you're not sure, you just go onto the next wheel and come back to it and keep going. And then you'll eventually be able to decode your lock if you've forgotten your combination. Thanks.